friends, it's me. We are gonna start this video off with the roast of the day. You know, I've been doing YouTube for like seven years and I don't get offended easily. And then on Instagram, I got this one DM and it was just like disrespectful. Respectful. This dude really screenshotted and zoomed into my feet. I was like, wapow, your feet look like a basketball player's hands. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, completely unrelated to today's video. Off-brand food. You know, right next to the Pringles, we gonna put some cracks. <laughs> Now with flavor booster. Ooh, or should I get the all new crunch? What do you mean all new crunch? How are you gonna have a new crunch with a potato chip? It's like, I eat one, okay? Oh, the new crunch. It's like this dude on the cracks is missing all the features that the Pringles man has. One got eyes, one don't. One got a mustache, one don't. One got a mouth, one don't. One got hair, one don't. One got eyebrows, one don't. It's like, give this dude what Pringles man don't have. Oh, but you forgot one thing. The clout. <laughs> We got Oreos. We got cookies. Oreos are cookies. And then this alternate dimension. Oreos are fried peas. Imagine wasting this glorious logo. Uh, just make the E a I. It's different enough. And it's just literally copy pasta Oreos. The perfect logo for our fried peas. Quality export indeed. <laughs> Only real Kyles will understand. They got mutant energy drink. Just like Monster, but mutant. I commend their effort. They did a decent job. I mean, they got the M. They basically just copy pasted the logo, you know. They got Monster, we got mutant. Which one is scarier? <laughs> mm, let me have a sip of some nice refreshing boba bola. What did you say? Is it bola bola or boba bola? Ebola bola. Coca Ebola. Oh look in the background we got Bepis. <laughs> I just straight up snatched the logo like as long as we change the name. Man this company must be legit that they got actual trucks. Business must be booming. That boba bola really done hit that spot. Uh, let me some Bepis. <laughs> No! Very bad kids. <laughs> it seems legit. Like, it's the same company and everything. Just completely ripped this off. I bet parents buy this for their bad kids. Billy, you see this bag? This is where all the very bad kids go. They get turned into sour candy and put in this bag to get eaten. I would be terrified. <gasps> this is for me! Snickers, get out of here! We got Snippers, like Snipper Wolf. It was made for me. You still got the milk chocolate, peanuts, caramel, nougat. Why the milk chocolate like blended in? Like why you put emphasis on the peanut, caramel, and nougat? Is the milk chocolate just not an important part? Does the company not value milk chocolate as much as the other ingredients? I'm sorry Snippers, I can't support that. You know, in a land far away, a long time ago, there was a cookie called Hydro. Hydrox. And Oreo copied them and made Oreo. And then Boreo copied Oreo and made Boreo Jumbo. It's like Naruto and Boruto. Another one! After Boreo came Okie Dokie, Sandwich Caco Coca Jazz, Gevolt Med Vanilla Cream. Ten times two stooks. I don't even know what language this is, but all I know is everything will be Okie Dokie. <laughs> oh, cop, don't arrest me because I made a fake Oreo. It's so convincing, too. Borneo. It's like they copied the fake Boreo. We don't even know Oreo even exists, but we're gonna copy the fake Boreo, which copied Oreo, and make a Borneo. I need my daily dose of caffeine. Oh, perfect. A Taurus energy drink. Just what I need. It won't give me wings, but maybe it'll give me my horoscope. Wait, I'm not even a Taurus. This is a fake bootleg Red Bull. It's like it's trying so hard. Like, look, they even try to trademark it. But that's not even a real trademark. There's Pizza Hut, and then there's Pizza Roof. An attempt wasn't even made. Oh, Pizza Hut, they so stupid. They talking about a hut. Ain't nobody know what a hut is. That's not a hut, that's a roof. Literally, when you go to the restaurant, their roof looks like that. So why don't we just call it Pizza Roof? Makes much more sense, says the bootleg. P Cola. Mmm, my favorite. Hey, how come it's not yellow? I have some questions. Sorry, I'm allergic to fakes. Disgusting. Get out of here, goldfish. Cheddar cheese guppies coming through. Oh, and they're all natural crispy crackers. That sounds gross. Y'all should have called them cheddar cheese fishies. I don't want to eat something called a gup. America, Burger King. Here, King Burger. Like the same logo and everything. Just swap out the words. King Burger. That sounds better than Burger King. What is that? 
Burger King. Why can't it be a Burger Queen? You know what? We'll just call it King Burger. Now bow before those thick, juicy buns. Mmm, Cheetos versus crunchy cheese curls, but make it see-through in the shape of a mouse. Dang, they want to charge $3.19 for a bootleg when the real Cheetos cost $3.49. Mom's still going to buy the crunchy cheese to save 31 cents. Okay, Pringles Man ended up defeating Crack Man. Now the final boss. We got Party Chips. He got a nose, mouth, and eyes. And hair. A worthy adversary. Those chips look pretty dank though. Look at that Pringle. It's got like a shine on it. Magical energy flowing throughout. Then you got Party Chips. Here we got a food truck called Hot Dognolds. <laughs> no relation to McDonald's. You see, we don't have burgers, we sell hot dogs. So I was like, take McDonald's logo, but make it weanular. Hot Dognolds. I feel like it's got a nice ring to it. It's different enough that it actually works. Okay, but the real question is, does your ice cream break after 8 p.m. or nah? So I used to live close to McDonald's. I used to do like nightly trips. It was the only place that was open late. And I would go there and I would always ask for ice cream. And like nine times out of 10, it would be broken. And it's like I went there during the day. I got my Sunday and then I went a few hours later when it got dark And I asked is your ice cream machine broken and they're like yeah, it's broken And then I'm like, but I just ordered ice cream a few hours ago. How is it broken? They literally told me we made too many ice creams today and it broke like why don't they just tell people that it's Cleaning like it has to clean at night. That's the reason that there's no ice cream at night like ice cream machine broke Why say it's broke like it's cleaning itself Right? Man, I'm just mad soft serve, gotta have a bedtime. You know, we out here making quality butter. Tastes like butter, soft spread. But it's not even butter. Key food quality. 70% oil spread. 70% vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. Butter is supposed to be made of milk. Straight from the cow's udder. Not oil. If it's made of oil, it's fake butter. It may taste like butter. It may soft spread like butter, but it ain't butter. If you had real butter, you know how delicious real butter is compared to this trash. This is not butter. <laughs> Butterific <laughs> made with sweet cream buttermilk. So is it butter if it's made with buttermilk? Why you say it's not butter? I know it's butterific, but can it be butter and butterific at the same time? You just don't played yourself now I'm not sure if this is real or fake butter. I think it tastes like butter. I'm not sure but I'm like 57% sure I think it tastes like butter. I'm not sure what the other 43% is maybe high blood pressure Maybe diarrhea cuz I lack toes and I taller ants Unbelievable. This is not butter why are you so upset? You literally made this product and you're acting surprised or shocked or even disappointed in yourself that it's not butter. She already knew that. We're here at Sundance. I would like to present to you this indie film that we've worked so hard on, Memories of Butter. And it's like, I'm agitated because there's so many of these. And again, not real butter. You know, we all grew up eating Lucky Charms, but now they got marshmallows and stars. <laughs> Ain't nobody care about Lucky Charms. This is what you guys are really here for. <laughs> the marshmallows and the stars. Frosted oat cereal with mini magical marshmallows. Bro, it's like they didn't even try to like have different marshmallows. <laughs> they made like the same one. Oh, so instead of a leprechaun, it's a magician. Which one would you rather source your marshmallows from? I trust the magician more than I trust a leprechaun. Here we got some cocoa pebbles. You know when I first moved to America we went to my cousin's house and they served us cocoa pebbles and I literally have never had cereal in my life. We used to eat porridge for breakfast and then I looked at my aunt I'm like is this dog food? Like seriously and then she started laughing at me. I'm like excuse me what are you serving me? Anyways we got cocoa nuggets instead of Fred Flintstone we got a crazy green monkey. Why is he green? He looks diseased. Is this a vegan monkey? Are cocoa nuggets just vegan cocoa pebbles? I think I'll go with the one that says it'll rock your whole mouth. <laughs> I ain't trying to eat what monkeys eat. Look at Fred Flintstone. He's offering me a spoonful. I think that's way more enticing than a green monkey going ham with snot dripping down his nose trying to get some cocoa nuggets. I bet they ain't even that size. This is misleading. It's a bad ad and I hate it. This fried chicken place is called MFC. Motherfucker chicken. No, my favorite chicken. Oh, lip licking flavor. Mm, that's how you know it's delicious. That sounds very appetizing. They must be very confident in their fried chicken. It's my favorite. 
In America, we got Lay's chips. Here, we got legs. Legs? Ugh, who gonna wanna open a bag of chips and be like, where the legs at? Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll find me some feet. It's like the rest of the packaging looks fine, but why'd you gotta call it legs? That sounds gross. You know, I didn't know ketchup was copyright. So they had to make a sauce called tomato condiment. Cause you know, that's what it really is. It's a tomato condiment. <laughs> Why couldn't you call it ketchup? Is it copyrighted by Heinz? Why don't you let people know what you really are? I don't know if this is an off-brand product, but Cheetos came out with an avocado flavor. What? That's not healthy. You can't have Cheetos and healthy in the same sentence. That's illegal. I'm not gonna lie, those are good. H and H. Peanuts. Chocolate. <laughs> They got H's and they're very ovular shaped. Tick tick is the sound it makes when you open the thing and shake it <laughs> instead of tick tack. Tick tack stocks drop to zero. Let's make a coffee shop. Okay, but what should we call it? I don't know, something like Starbucks. They'd be doing good. I got it. Stars and Bucks Cafe. You know, why have Starbucks when you can have stars and bucks? And a cafe? Mmm, genius. I wonder if people look at that like, wait, this ain't my Starbucks? No, ma'am, this is stars and bucks. Would you like a Benti Brappuccino? Oh, these were the best when I was a child. That like variety pack of mini cereals. But then you go and throw hands with your sibling when they eat your one favorite pack of cereal. But anyways, we got bootleg versions of everything. Instead of Captain Crunch, we got Crunchy King. Oh, he'd look a lot more appetizing than Captain Crunch. Definitely would eat his booty. Like his, his cereal. Why did Siri just activate? She listening to me like 24-7. I didn't even say your name. I said something about eating booty, like cereal, and she gonna turn herself off. On. Always listening to me, so rude. Anyways, we got apple bits. Okay, okay. A valiant effort was made. Sugar flakes. Instead of frosted flakes, instead of a tiger, we got a boy. It's more relatable. Instead of fruit loops, fruit rings, and cocoa balls. And this dude just like pull them out from behind like, mother, look what I've done. I shall feed it to the children. We got a whole Halloween basket of fake candy. M N M's brunch. <laughs> Did a crunch, brunch. Tolerone. A what? It's like Toblerone for people who can't make the B sound. Tolerone. Cloud nine. But cloud spelled like loud. Oh, loud. Cloud nine. Can't wait to go home and drink some mountain shouting. Yeehaw! Now let me get my diet doctor Bob. And Mountain Drive! Doctor 38! It's like if you squint and look at them, they could pass. Grandma will never know the difference. But anyway, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, the face. Comment below the last food you ate. And was it a bootleg or nah? And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.